Hey guys, all of our videos are gonna come out on uh, Sundays. Um, so this is a bonus video. Uh, I respond to uh, a comment on the nitrogen myth video I had. So I respond to that comment and I just kind of share with you guys how to respond to trolls, angry people, and people who just disagree with you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So apparently not everybody is a fan of the YouTube channel. Larry writes, I can see that you have never farmed any corn. Nitrogen is absolutely necessary. As far as your analysis, you are completely out of your mind. There is simply not enough compost at a reasonable price to produce the millions of bushels of corn, wheat, and other grass, hays, and forages. Hold up right there, Larry. I gotta interrupt you. Uh, we made enough compost to cover our own acres. Um, well, almost. We had to buy a little bit from Soil Works. They make a great compost called Bio 5. But we've made enough compost to cover our entire operation. And everybody has the capability of doing that. So Larry, search Johnson Sioux Compost and um, you know, do a little bit more research on what it actually is. It doesn't take a lot of it to cover a lot of acres. Um, and then comment after that. You are working on 500 acres and one state. A lot more than 500 acres, Larry, sorry. Alone has millions of acres. Following your recipe would result in mass starvation. So I don't know how to respond to that starvation comment, uh, but I do want to talk about three points um, that I thought about as I've uh, gone over Larry's uh, comment and thought about that and the other other people who have disagreed with me and, and I've had some good back and forth with those people who disagree with me. So point number one in how to deal with uh, trolls, angry people, and people who just disagree with you. Don't let other people's opinions of you, good or bad, uh, shape how you think about yourself. So for me, like, I let what the Word of God says and what God thinks about me shape who I am and my worth and value. If you don't believe in God, that's fine. But don't let somebody else you don't know um, shape how you think about yourself. And even people you do know, um, they might change, become a colossal jerk and drag you down later. And if you put all your stock in what they think about you, even if you care about them and you have a relationship with them, um, it could be dangerous. So don't put worth and value in what other people say about you or think about you, especially a dude on YouTube that doesn't even know you. So for me, like Psalms 139 says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. I put my worth and my value in that. Uh, if you're not a believer, um, you know, whatever you need to do to find your worth and value, but uh, I encourage you, find your worth and value in that because, I mean, there's nothing more powerful than knowing the God who created all the universe, all the universe loves you, thinks you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, and a bonus point off of point one. Assume people have good intentions. Just because they're arguing with you doesn't mean that they have wrong intentions. Like uh, Tom and Francis, we had some great back and forth. Um, seem like good dude, but they, you know, they don't necessarily agree with me. Um, so, you know, assume people have good intentions. Uh, Larry, I mean, who knows? He probably thinks uh, I'm trying to starve the world and is trying to do the world a favor by silencing this crazy guy that's trying to starve the world. So, you know, give Larry the benefit of the doubt, calmly explain things to him, and uh, move on. Point number two. Uh, as much as you can, if you're in regenerative agriculture, respond to the trolls, the angry people, and the people who disagree with you. And here's why. I love getting the encouraging comments um, of people who are, are just saying awesome and encouraging things about how much I'm helping them. I love that. But you know what? Those people are already on board and want to change the world and are into regenerative agriculture. Um, my job's not to be a cheerleader. My job is to change the world. And if I'm gonna change the world and help people to implement these awesome regenerative agricultural principles, then I have to interact with trolls, angry people, and people who disagree with me. And that's the problem with a lot of people in regenerative agriculture. They'll tell me, I'm so sick of people in my community. I'm so sick of other farmers that neighbor me. They're so stupid. They won't even see what we're doing. They won't even try, blah, 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 blah. Stop being a freaking baby, okay? Um, you've given up on your neighbor and you're like, screw my neighbor. No, love your neighbor as yourself, okay? If you're gonna change the world, it starts with your neighbor. Don't give up on them. 
be nice even when they're mean, all right? Respond with kindness even when they respond with telling everybody how stupid you are with your regenerative agriculture principles because that's the only way we're going to change the world. We have to get our neighbors on board with regenerative agriculture. Otherwise, the ground's not going to stop blowing. Uh, otherwise, if you're in Iowa and you have massive amounts of runoff and nitrogen and nitrate uh, going into your river systems and your lakes, that will never stop happening if you give up on your neighbor. So stop giving up on your neighbor. On this nitrogen myth video, I've had a lot of great discussion with people who don't agree with me and who don't believe what I'm saying is accurate and that I need to do more research. Like, they don't realize that there's already a jack ton of research out there. Uh, they didn't watch the videos that I posted about James White and Christine, Dr. Christine Jones and Toby Kears and David Johnson, um, Nicole Masters, Elaine Ingram. That's six scientists who have over the combined of them 60 years of research on how regenerative agricultural principles work. And so it's my job to be patient and to keep telling people even when they disagree with me. You have to have a resilient mind and put up with people fighting against you. That's the only way you're gonna win. If you stop fighting and try to ignore them and walk away from the argument because you can't handle conflict, then we're not gonna change the world. So, if you're in regenerative agriculture, be patient, know your stuff, you have enough knowledge of what you're doing that you can articulate it and keep articulating it, keep being kind, kill them with kindness and keep going. Otherwise, we're not gonna change anything if you give up. So don't give up. Keep telling people how awesome regenerative agriculture is. Point number three uh, in dealing with trolls, angry people, and people who disagree with you. Know your purpose. I wake up every single morning and I thank God for who he is, uh, the fact that he's created me, he's died for me, and all the things that he has given me. And I don't take it for granted for one minute. And I know my purpose. My purpose is to uh, testify of his goodness um, and also to be a good steward of what he's given me and try to get as many people to understand those contexts of, of, of working with the land that he has created in the way he intended us to do. And I'm very, very passionate about that. And so I don't let what other people say that goes against that calling affect me for one second. And if you're in regenerative agriculture, you have a purpose. To, to, to be a good steward of the land that God has given you and to be re resilient and to not give in and give up when people are fighting against you and not to have a, a soft skin. So know your purpose. Uh, don't be afraid to tell people why you're doing what you're doing, even if you have to do it over and over and over again because you're making a difference. So I hope this uh, blesses people who are in regenerative agriculture to keep going and keep responding and keep doing it with kindness and love so that we can get the world uh, in a place where regenerative agriculture is uh, changing the environment and the world that God has created uh, for the good. Uh, hope this blesses you guys. Later.